What is up guys, it's GameStorms here with some more Plants vs. Zombies. And in today's how-to video, we are going to be playing as the Scientist Zombie. As I want to say, is actually one of the toughest characters to use in the game. It is probably the toughest character to use on the zombies. Just as the chopper is the toughest to use on the plants. Now, I have his abilities switched. I should have his regular abilities on because his regular teleport is a lot better than his Cheeto teleport one. Due to the fact that you have two teleports and just not one giant one. Now, what is so difficult with the scientist when you think, oh, he can heal. He should be able to stay alive. He can heal with big target areas. Well, unlike the sunflower, he can't just heal anybody. He can only heal himself and any teammate who decides to stand in the fountain. As you can see, all my teammates are injured and I can't do anything about it. I do have grenades. The grenades aren't very useful unless you can actually stick people with the grenade itself. Which, unless you played Halo, you're not going to do very well at doing. Because Halo will help you out a lot. Then you have your teleport, which... You know, just gets you out of sticky situations or closes you in. Because the way you use the scientist is close range. The scientist is meant for close range. It's not meant for really anything else. It's only meant for close range. It's variants can be used at a, quite a bit more range. But the scientist is meant for close range. You want to get up close. You literally want to get so close that you're practically against them. Because you can put so much damage output out. Because you pretty much are using a shotgun. As you can put out, I think, 70 damage at the max in one bullet, which is a lot. And look at that grenade stick. Like I said, unless you play Halo, you can't get that. That was right on his goddamn snout. It was so beautiful. I laughed so hard when I saw that. Uh, right in his snout. I wish he would have, like, just shot and it blew up then. Not that he could keep shooting. But as a scientist, there's no the only strong pointers I can give you... Uh, is that you need to get close to enemies. You have to get point blank, like literally touching them. But you need to do it in as sneak of a way as you can. You don't want to like just walk out and fight somebody. Because you are just going to get gunned down. As you can see, the grenades lob quite a bit. They don't go straight forward. Um, if you can stay at a close range fight and you can actually hit your shots. Because you need to hit directly. You can hit slight of your shot. But it's not going to do that much damage. And then you're just going to lose the fight anyway. So you need to hit with the center point of your shot to get the full proof where you will win every close range battle then. Because you are just putting so much damage out so quick that they can't do anything. I wish they would give them a bigger magazine, but they don't have them on a bigger magazine. Now, as a scientist, to close in, you use your teleport. You use teleport to close in get so you can get right up close personal with them so you can get your strong ass damage shots out. Or it can be used as a defensive mechanism if you are in a stick situation. Like, let's say let's say a chomper's coming at you. Because the chomper is always the easiest situation to talk about due to the fact that you can't stop the chomper once it burrows. Um, the chomper's coming straight at you. As you can see, probably right here. Watch. I teleport. Boom. He can't get me. I'm 20 feet behind him. He has to burrow out of the ground. And now I can just kill him. Because he actually has no clue where I am. And that's that. I actually thought I was going to die here because of the goop. But it is quite... It can be quite difficult to not die less than five times. Just due to the fact that you have to get so, so close. But it's good. The scientist is a healer. So if you want to be playing him right, you probably should stick with teammates. I don't really stick with teammates just because he has a... The scientist uses a shotgun and... Shotgun means get close and personal, and I'm actually quite good at flanking and choosing the right points to flank and making sure my grenades are thrown right way. Um, but you do want to throw down your port. If, like, you aren't damaged and you have teammates around you, just throw down your healer device because at least you're helping your teammates out, even if you're not damaged. It is nice to heal yourself, but you got to realize that it's a greater cause if you're healing more than one person other than yourself. And other than sticking with a teammate, um, yeah. 
Grenades. That's right. Grenades. If You can use those as defensive or offensive as well. If you need to get away, let's say you use your teleport and then you can like turn a corner. Well, <clears throat> right as you turn the corner, throw a grenade straight at the ground. The grenade will be stuck there. Once the enemy comes around the corner, they'll get hit by the grenade. They'll, they'll die or they'll lose a good chunk of health and maybe you can finish them off because they'll be close to you. But other than that, there's not much you can do. You are pretty much stuck at a close range fight the whole time. You you have to heal heal as many teammates as you can, just like the sunflower. If you get a chance to heal, heal. Um, keep it a close range. Never go out of close range. Once you're into a medium range, you're pretty much not in a very good state. You're gonna lose 80% of the time, I would say, because everybody but the chomper is gonna get you. But see, 70 damage output right there. Once I'm close, I can't be stopped. And that is just great. And I actually have no idea where I am on my video, just due to the fact that I actually clicked in my video and went back in time. So I actually have no idea where I am in my video. So I can't tell you exactly what I'm doing in the game, but I think I explained well enough what needs to be done for the scientists to be used quite well. Um, other than that guys, I don't know what else to tell you is stick close, heal, make sure you flank behind them, use your teleport in offensive or defensive, whatever you decide your best cho choice of play is. That is going to be it for this gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please tell me what you think is the strongest scientist variant in the game because I actually have no scientist variants and I really want one because they just seem so much stronger than the regular scientist. Do not use the Cheeto brand tactics other than the healer. The Cheeto healer is actually really nice. It heals faster than the regular healer. But do not use the Cheeto teleport. Stick with regular teleport. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.